What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another IndyCar iRacing season video. If you guys did not watch the last episode at Mid Ohio before we get in Iowa today, I highly recommend you go check that out before watching this one because at Mid Ohio, we actually. If I would have known the track a little bit better with this car, I think we would have had a really decent race. But yeah, it just it just wasn't my day. I mean, we would overshoot that last corner every single time. Oh, it was killing me. But oh well, it is what it is. Say we're Iowa, we're at an oval. Uh, check out the real race at Mid Ohio if you haven't watched that already. Because um, yeah, no, that was a really decent race. It was Polo versus Award and. Again, Pato Award got the job done. We got, we got to see a different winner this season already. Even though Pato already technically won, it's just nice to see a different winner. And now we're racing an Indy car in Iowa. And I have no idea how this is going to go. I have genuinely have no idea how on God's green earth how I'm meant to do this. But, oh, guess we'll give it a shot. Why the hell not? Oh, okay, got a little loose there. Shouldn't be too bad, I guess. Yeah, new paint scheme, by the way. I decided to update it. We got a new white Hooter scheme. Okay, we're we're three tenths off. That 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 ain't good. That ain't good. But um, or six tenths off rather. But yeah, I know it's a double header. We're only gonna do the one race because why not? And um, is no one's paint scheme gonna load? Oh God damn it! All right, I guess we're racing just a bunch of regular indie car AIs. Hopefully their paint schemes load, but god damn it. All right. Um Yeah, man. Um should be an interesting day here at Iowa. Uh I will say I did just get done recording my NASCAR i racing video, so if the audio cuts out at points, I do apologize, but yeah. Two to green at Iowa. Hopefully, we can have ourselves a decent race here. Let's not get into the back of people. I've got a front wing that can be damaged. And I can already tell this is going to be wild. Alright, getting ready to go green here at Iowa. Pace car is in. Alright, let's have some fun. Can go any day now. All right, this could be interesting. Indy car on a small oval. Good God, what reality am I living in? I never see myself doing this in a million years, but here we are. Good Lord. All right, this might be even crazier than the Indy D500. Well, uh, buckle up, kids, because this is going to get a little wild. Man, it is really annoying not being able to tell who each person is. I just got hit by someone there. Oh, those blue twists. Okay, I am far from the run of 17 second lap. Okay, running full throttle is not the move. Good to know. Uh, probably room for making a move back underneath me. Oh my goodness. This is crazy, man. This is absolutely crazy. Uh, go to the inside, the auto. Oh my good god. This this is something friggin' else, man. This is something else. Good god. Oh my lord. I mean... Oh, I can't even begin to imagine doing this in real life. This would be great. Man, this is an oval, so you figured I'd be fast. But I'm just not. Like, I'm just not fast. I don't know who the leader is that just passed me. But, oh, it's tight, dude. Do I even have to push the pass or anything? Not looking like it. We're gonna have to make a oh wow and tight. We're gonna have to make a pit stop for fuel at some point. It says we got 15 laps of fuel left in this thing. 
Well, on the bright side, at least we're not crashing. But... My god, literally, like... Every single lap, I'm just getting past, past, and past again. So... Oh... Man, like... At least we're not crashing, but I am just not fast, like, at all. And if I try to carry the same amount of speed that these guys do in the corner, my, my car just absolutely plows tight, so it's like... I don't know what I'm gonna do, man. I know I'm was good at, like, the Indy 500 and stuff, but... Man, this... This is wild, dude. This... Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm not sure who that is, but man, we're just going lap down after lap down after lap down. I'm pretty sure that was, uh, Linus Lindquist there. Go to the other side of there, pal. We got another one coming too, okay. I just got put a lap down by Kevin Simpson. Oh my god. Oh man, I should park this thing for a day. Good god. I still got 43 to go here. Which honestly is crazy to me because, like, we're 20 laps in once I hit the line. And the amount, like, how, like, the amount of speed through these lap times are such short, quick laps. The fact that we can even race these cars at a track like this blows my mind. Oh well, maybe I need to do something with the steering to make it better. Marcus Armstrong's going past me in the oval. That's not a good sign. And I thought ovals were my forte, man. I mean, honestly, I don't think I have the car to do it today. I believe that's Pato. Yeah, that's, yeah, that is Pato Awards. Maybe I can do some racing with Pato Awards. Not if this guy behind me doesn't allow it. Oh, I'm just getting tight. Sorry, man. That's uh, the 77. So who is that? Oh, that's Grosjean. Sorry, Grosjean. Oh, man. Go to the outside of me, pal. If you want to get back, you're going to have to go up there. Good grief. I am sorry that I am just a moving chicane today. I am San there goes Santino. I have just nowhere else to go or be. I just suck. I just absolutely suck today. So, what more can you do, man? It, it is what it is. And the worst part is, is you can't even tell who's who. Like, I tried to load the paint scheme, so, like, I did have to go back out because it wasn't... Sim wasn't loading on the full screen for some stupid reason. I'm a lap down with the car ahead of me, and that's just on pure pace. Like, I haven't even wrecked or anything. Might as well be wrecking, so good grief. But, yeah, I can't say Iowa is one of the most familiar ovals for me, so... What can you do, I suppose? Oh, hello. Okay. Maybe I might have found something here. Nope, into the wall. Might have to repair the front thing after that. Uh, oh, 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 okay. Still there on the bottom. Oh, I need a pit for repair. God damn it. I mean, maybe that might help this car get a bit better, but... We're bringing into pit road, I suppose. Crap. I was going to say, where the hell's the pit road line? In the oh, we pit right at halfway. That's perfect. Move that food to the side for now. Lucky enough, lucky enough to have food delivered in here. But it's making me really hungry now. Oh my god. Oh, for Christ's sake, dude. I keep thinking about food and I go over the goddamn speed limit. God damn it. Now I gotta come in and hold. Hold it for 40 seconds. I'm surprised it didn't get into the wall in there, but I'm just gonna stay on the access road. So that way I don't ruin anybody else's day. But... Oh well. Oh, get off the apron. And I spun it in the pit lane. I have to do like a little three-point turn here. 
Oh, good grief. Alright. Alright. Now I gotta hold it again. Good grief. Oh my good god, I Oh no, 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 don't hit me. Jesus, okay. Will I be able to get a free pass with that? Yeah, I, of course I didn't exit the pit safely, I got damn wrecked. Where's the 15 car? I can't tell who's who here. It's actually kind of cool to see the yellow flag lit up on the steering wheel. That is kind of cool. Well, where the hell is the 15 car? Where's... Where is the 15? I don't know where the 15 is. Oh my good god. I didn't know... Spotter! Let me know that friggin' Alex Polo was there. I just nailed Alex Polo for no reason. Well, now I've got a chance to keep up with them. I've got food in my stomach as I was eating that food under caution. I uh, just haven't gotten to that egg yet. I've had some friggin' hash brown bacon and a slice of toast. But, see what happens now. I don't want to overtake anybody illegally. I was going to overtake me illegally, though, hell with it. Move, pal. Stingray. You ain't no goddamn thing, right? You move like a damn slug. Okay. New objective for the race. Try and hold off Stingray Rob. What can I learn from these guys up ahead of me? Are they running the line that I am not? Let's find out. R27 is taking the lead. That is cool. That is... Wow, Kirkwood? Okay. It wouldn't expect him to be leading on the Noble, but I mean, good for him. Let's see how well we can keep up now. 14 laps to go here at Iowa. Let's see what the cookie has crumbled for us. Ah, oh, crap. Just as I was starting to figure it out a little bit. I, I can't go one IndyCar video without a wreck, can I? Um, trust me, I am trying to make my way into the pits. I'm staying on the access road. That way no one can hit me. I'm not bothering anyone. It'll be about six to go once I get back to the line. Ah, uh, good grief. Can't go one IndyCar video without a wreck, can I? Can't go one. All right, can I get back onto the track without spinning? And that time, two laps to go. How fast can I go for the remaining two laps? Let's find it. First, in the oval, apart from the brick, apart from the 500 so far. So. Just trying to find speed. Maybe I can run a sub 18 second lap. Wouldn't that be nice? Uh, just likes to plow up into that ball, man. I really try to get off and do what they're doing, but my, my car just gets so tight. Oh, come on. Yeah, I know my friend is dangerous. Can we just bring it home with a decent lap time? Nope. Pancake the wall. Okay. Well then, um, that was an interesting race, holy god. That was a very interesting race. Should be a very interesting weekend at Iowa too. This is almost like the Chicago of IndyCar. Um, holy crap, because like, they got big concerts of like Luke Combs and Post Malone, like... Man, they, they're rocking this weekend. I'm like, damn, I'm missing out not going to Iowa this weekend. Like, holy crap. Like, that'd be awesome. But, um, anyways, guys, <clears throat> if you enjoyed today's video, make sure you smash the like button. Drop a comment down below. Who do you think is going to win the, Indi the Iowa doubleheader?
I think Joseph Newgarden's definitely going to win a race, and I'm going to go with... I'm going to say Scott Dixon wins. So I'm going to say Joseph Newgarden and Scott Dixon will win two, two of the races at the Iowa Oval. Uh, but yeah, hope you enjoy the doubleheader, guys, and I'll see you... Will I make a video for Toronto? Toronto's not an eye racing. I wish it was, because I've been to that race. It's the only IndyCar race I've ever been to. Uh, I was... I was at there. I was at Toronto last year when Lundgaard won, but uh, no, probably not. I'll wait till there's probably actually a track I can race at. Isn't it Gateway right after the Olympic break? Maybe, but I'll see you guys after the Olympic break. Take care and peace.